Don't these parliamentarians know what they're doing to our country? People like me are angry at the way that we keep being ignored. We have to put up with parliamentarians going on TV telling us it's all about businesses. It's all about jobs. But it's not about us, the people, the people that matter. Michael Gove, a leading Brexiteer, supposedly, the backstabber. He backstabbed Boris Johnson when there was a leadership campaign. And now he's backstabbing the Brexiteers. Well, you might see his name on the list as one of the new peers, mightn't you? And Andrea Ledson, you might see her become a dame. That could all happen as well. It's all about lining their own pockets and getting what they can out of anything that makes them look important. It's nothing about us. And when you hear Theresa May talk about, I've had to do a deal of compromise for the Leavers and the Remainers, why were the Remainers included? We had a vote. Leave or remain? Leave one. Why do you think we're angry? And you keep getting one parliamentarian after another one coming on the TV stating the same things that we are leaving the customs union. No, we're not. We are leaving the single market. No, we're not. And we are going to control our borders. No, we are not. Because that doesn't happen until the transitional period is over. And if there's a backstop, it's indefinite. So stop keep saying that we got the best deal for Brexiteers. We've got no deal. So no deal at the moment is the only option that we've got because you will not implement the will of the people, the 17.4 million. You keep forgetting the 17.4 million. We've got a march coming up on December the 11th, I think, or 9th. I think it's the 9th. Led by Tommy Robinson. He's coming for stick from Nigel Farage saying he's, Nigel Farage is going to rethink his membership of UKIP if Tommy Robinson gets a membership or is still closely linked with UKIP. Well, Nigel, if you'd stood last time in the election, perhaps UKIP would have done a lot better. But you deserted them. People like me are looking out for people that are going to raise our profile. You also said that he has a convictions, or he has a lot of convictions. Well, so have a load of MPs. They've got convictions as well. Remember the scandal of their of their funds they were spending, they're spending our money, and some of them got put inside for it. And they hang around with convicts as well. I mean, look at Hamilton. He went to prison, and then he became a, a UKIP member. So don't believe what Nigel Farage has to say that, you know, Tommy Robinson is the only one who's had convictions and he's been to prison and all. we know he's done all this. We know he's done bad things. But when he, when he sort of gives us the right noises that we want to hear, which he is doing because no one else is speaking up for us, that's the only thing we've got to grab hold of. And if there's trouble at this march... It won't be the fault of those marchers. It'd be the fault of this government because the frustrations are going out onto our street and you will see the consequences of those frustrations. You've got to sort of take responsibility for not listening to the people. We are angry people. And you keep ignoring us and it's not just the Tories, it's Labour, it's Liberal Democrats. And if you're not listening, then something has to go. Something has to happen to make you listen. And to pull back from the worst case scenario, you should start doing what the people are asking you to do. Because people power 
is the only power in this country that will change things. It's about time you started to listen to us all. So give us a Brexit we deserve. Stop pussyfooting about a checkers deal, or that's the only deal on the table that's got any credibility. Deliver what we asked. We asked to leave. Leave we must. And if we don't, then anything after will be down to parliamentarians. It'd be your problem, your fault.